Here we are now waiting for the birds. He's liberated at 9 a.m. in a strong southwesterly wind from 136 miles. So it's gonna be a fast race. And we're just waiting now. I reckon there should be around two hour mark to cover that distance from going off today's wind. Maybe two hours five. But it should be a fast one. So let's wait and see. Come on. Come on. Had one there, one hour forty nine, and there's another one here. Another two, sorry. Here we go. Come on then. Come back thick and fast then. Seven in a few minutes. Okay guys, so I've just returned from the pigeon club. And this female here, she's won the club doing 2193 yards a minute, which um is the equivalent of 74 miles an hour so yeah they had a bit of tailwind 
but you've still got to get them on them fast days. Uh, she's actually a granddaughter from my number one breeder staff on one side and, and my other best, second best breeding cock, Gus. So she's a granddaughter from my two best racing cocks from 2015. Um, that pigeon there is actually her father that she's paired to, so he's a son from staff. So I took in the result today from the club racing from Mangotsfield. I was first, second, third and fifth. My second pigeon didn't actually register on the um, ETS system. So really they should have took the first four, but hey, I'm not complaining. I always say, if you're not first, you're last. So yeah, it's a bonus to be up first three. And I think that's the first time it's been done in the club this year, the first three positions by the same fancier. Uh, but we, I am in a good club. Um, the first prizes have gone round, as you know, you know from earlier videos. The pigeons went off the boil and I tur I've turned them back round. So now they've won the two, two races. Nobody, nobody in the club's won more. So, I'm happy with that. They, they, they tippled in today, which you expected from a fast race. Uh, my second pigeon on the clock, which he shouldn't have been, but he's there. 51. He's another grandson. He's a grandson of my best cock staff. And he was second on the clock to take second prize today. And my third pigeon is yet again. Third pigeon on the clock, taking third prize in the club. He's another grandson of my best breeding cock staff. So three grandchildren from my number one breeder. And um, I don't supply a lot of pigeons, but I know that what these pigeons are capable of if I get the time to put into them, which I don't get, the, I haven't had the time. Uh, but sometimes when you go down to the bottom of the sheet, like I did, you've got to say, listen, are you going to compete? Or you might as well not send. So I put a bit of extra work in to the pigeons. And today they're doing, they've done me proud. So I can't, what can you say? We send the pigeons to win. And I took the first three positions and fifth position also. Like I say, it was a female that was my second pigeon. Uh, that she didn't register. So she should have took the, I should have took the first four positions in the club today. But hey, I'm not complaining. Send them to win. I've got. I've won the race. There's, la there's the last time I raced. He won. He's also got the line of staff in him from a full brother to staff. And there's this week's winner. That little checker hen there. Second race of the season for her. She went to Cheltenham two weeks ago, and uh, this was the second race today. And she was doing the time, she was doing the 136 miles in one hour and 49 minutes. That's 74 miles an hour. Fast, it's a fast race, and they tippled in the pigeons. I couldn't have asked for a better race. I got 100% returns. And I always say, you're only as good as your next race, so forget about that. Yep, yeah, it's nice to win. But we have to look forward to the next one because we're only as good of the next race so i hope you've enjoyed my videos leave a comment subscribe if you're not already subscribed and press that bell button um, leave a comment i'll get back to you if you um, I, I like to show people i mean you can see i only have 12 nest boxes and four of them are closed so i'm not a big team flyer so I know the pigeons I keep are quality pigeons but they only send a few well, I don't send 30s and 40s like I've said on previous videos um, but more importantly for me I enjoy the pigeons I enjoy racing that's my release from work whether the win lose or draw yeah of course we want to win um, but it's not the end of the world when you don't as long as you're getting that enjoyment watching them birds come home from, from them races and in good time so now it's time to remove these females away from these males because we are race on the traditional widowwood system so thanks again for watching leave me a comment
There she is, second race of the season, second race for her this year, and she's not letting me down, first prize winner, and that's what we want. Thanks for watching guys, enjoy, stay safe. Quick update on the young birds, they're doing well as you can see. I've uh, took them off the darkness system now, uh, I've had them on it for about eight weeks, that's enough for me. And, uh, they're flying well, these young birds. You see they've still got a bit of feathers around the face that they're pushing out. These ones with the green clip rings, these ones will not queen until the uh, beginning of June. And they're doing really well. They're in good fettle. That's the young bird now in, eating, they get to snag as much as they want. So hopefully you'll be racing at the end of July. 
Mike Brown just put them in the basket and start training in these young birds. They play really well, well around the lot. 40, 45 minutes, no problem. So when that cow they get in the cell, they're going to perch up for the night. I always feed the young birds as much as they want to eat. Some people do it different and measure it. Every, every road leads to road, so they say. I like a well-fed young bird, nice and healthy. Corn's always gone through and digested. You have nothing left in them when I get up in the morning. That's the sign of an healthy young bird. They grow it, don't forget they're still only babies. They grow it, so they can't deprive them of food. Otherwise they won't make, go on to make good racing pigeons when they're older. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Don't forget to hit that bell button, like and subscribe. Bye for now. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free